Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. For today's Christmas tags, I will be using Paper Tree Ink Tag Cell Quilted Die. I love the size of this tag die. It also comes with banner that you can use to go with your tags, but I won't be using that today. I already went ahead and die cut a few of the tags. The stamp set that I'm going to use today is Oh Dear Christmas from Little Inker Designs. I pull out my Misty to stamp a few times if I need to and place the die cut tag in the lower right corner of the Misty and align my image in the middle. And then I will pick up the stamp with the door of the Misty and ink up my image. Before I stamp my image, I'm going to prep it with uh, the anti-static uh, powder tool and then I'm using VersaFine, I think this one is the sepia ink. So I stamp it with the sepia ink and then I'm going to emboss it with clear embossing powder. And then I'm going to ink this another one with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And just like what I did on the first one, I'm going to emboss this one as well. I'm going to pour the embossing powder on top of the image and then we'll heat this up with my heat tool. I'm using a lid of a shoebox here and as you can see there's also strips of masking tape under and that is holding the paper temporarily so they don't move while I'm melting the powder. So I put the tag back in the misty and this time I'm going to stamp the sentiment on the banner under the deer. I will ink it up with Versamark ink and I will emboss this with a red embossing powder. I will do the same thing with the other tag, put it back in the misty. This time I didn't forget my anti-static powder tool ink up the sentiment and I will emboss this one with red embossing powder as well. And then I heat set the powder until melted and shiny. Now it's time to color the tags. I use Daniel Smith cobalt teal blue to color around the deer to look like it has halo around the image. And then I will come in with the zig markers for the actual image. I did color the background first because I don't want the red uh, marker bleeding on the background. It's because even though I embossed the image, it will still bleed sometimes when I was not careful with my coloring. So for me, it's always safe to color the background first and then color the image. I did very simple coloring here, add the color and then blend it with the blender. Now that the coloring is done, I'm going to stamp to and from and a Merry Christmas sentiment on the back of the tag. I stamped this one crooked but I think that's okay because this is just a tag and I'm sure the person receiving this with the gift doesn't mind. The ink I'm using here is Red Reactive Ink from Hero Arts and it's the same with um, this Merry Christmas sentiment and to and from sentiment is from hero arts 
a color layering Christmas tree. I'm going to tie a red and gold twine and then and also red jute twine from my stash. I always cut my twine to 8 inches and I think that's enough length to tie it on the present. For the embellishment, I use Mama Elephant Dainty Bow Creative Cuts and I uh, assembled that one using pure poppy cardstock and I'm going to adhere this using glossy accents on top of the tag. And I'm also going to add some of these dew drops. I think these ones are from honeybee stamps. So I'm going to add three of the dew drops on, on the tags. And then I'm going to adhere them with glossy accents as well. For my last embellishment, I'm going to add some of the stardust stickles on the sides of the banner. And this embellishment is the last one, I promise. I said the last one is the stickles, but I forgot that I also add shimmer on the um, on this bow. So I used the Spectrum North Sparkle Pen for that. And this Christmas tag is finished. I think I made a few of these tags, maybe six, and I had fun coloring them. I hope you liked today's video and... As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.